According to our YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Point Magoo, California, and today we're going to do a video review of Revolt Tex Queen's Blade Airi. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. You get two modes. I'll try to give them, show you both. S mode and M mode. Don't know what that means. Airi series number two, Queen's Blade. So there we go. There. I don't watch Queen's Blade. I don't know. If it's a fan fiction or sorry, fan service. Uh, so you got that. I got Echidna, Ek whatever her name is. Uh, the Revolt, infamous Revolt Tech joints over here. Let's show you the back of the box over here. Trying to emulate that pose right there, the S battle mode. And of course, taking battle damage, the M mode, everybody's favorite. Now I'll try to show you without being too freaking condescending on the on the girl. So yeah, nice little pose. You can get that uh, cute Moe figure. Uh, Yes, is Lolicon Moy, whatever you want to call it. She's wearing a freaking maid's outfit. Come on now. It has tiny little feet, so I have really bad trouble posing her. It does come with a few extras, and let me show you over here. Uh, this little piece fell off. That's all right. Don't know what this box is. I guess it's to contain things. You got see little bonnets over here and an extra sword piece. And if you can tell here, it says 10 point Re Revel Tech point. Don't know what that means. Uh, got a battle damage face which I'll put on there a little <laughs> whatever I'll show you that it's kind of embarrassing uh, battle damage on her leggings and open fist so that's pretty much for the extras and let me show you the bonnets I, I can't seem to get these suckers on here so they're supposed to the bonnets themselves or whatever the heck these things are they, there's a little point here on her hair you can attach these here but they're at a weird angle and I cannot seem to attach them I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but they do, they do attach to their hair. I'm, I'm afraid of breaking it, so I don't just do it. And also the sword itself has these little flame, purple flame looking things. So yeah, articulation wise, it's looking good. And if you want to pop up the other end of the scythe of the blade, all you have to do is just pops, pops right off. Same thing with the fists. The fists just pop off. Revolt Tech joints over here, so all you do, pop them in and out. Don't really have to show you that, but if I must. There we go. In and out. That's it. Really simple. So let's go ahead, take the little weapon over here. She has this humongous scythe for some reason. Uh, little pigtails on a uh, sorry, ball joint. Let me show you the detail on the face. Beautiful green eyes, pretty nondescript, made outfit, lolicon, whatever you want to call it, Moe, lolicon, I don't know. Definitely a fan service freaking anime. Freaking most of the time the, uh, the, what do you call it, the little heroines are either undressed or partially undressed or getting to be undressed. You know, they're naked more than they are freaking clothed, as if their clothing is pretty revealing as it is. Alright, let's go ahead and take that look at that, okay ball jointed neck, neck cranes, they got a ball jointed Revolt Tech joint here on the shoulder, doesn't uh, swivel like the Sig Figmas which I'm a big fan of, ball jointed elbow, very good, Revolt Tech joint there, ball jointed wrist, Revolt Tech joints very infamous, does have white panties as you can tell, has hip swivel and it's ball jointed so it moves up and down so for good location or and it has a thigh swivel, which is kind of neat. Revolt Tech joint on the knee, Revolt Tech joint on the ankle, and that's about it. I wish I had a toe pivot like the SH Figure Arts, which is fast becoming my favorite. All right, so the pigtails move and everything. So let's get her into battle damage mode. And yeah, you're gonna get a nipple flash. I'm gonna try not to, but hey, for you perverts here. Oh, hey, that's kind of neat. Kind of a flip top. It's a little different for the face. I have to do, take that off. Put the other face in, face off. Just watch that dumb movie with freaking Nicolas Cage. Face off. There she goes, she's battle damage. All right, I'm taking this one step at a time. All right, you perverts, I'm not gonna try to do this for, for you fan service. So yeah, you can, there's a little nipple flash, yeah. Big deal, there we go. Uh, pop that in, there we go. Dang, she can still see a lot of their nipple. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Uh. Yeah, she's helpless. This is pretty much standard for the whatchamacallit this series. And last but not least, her uh, leggings get uh, battle damage. Uh, pop that sucker right off. 
I like this because it's a lot more interchangeable. Oh, the Revolt Tech joint popped out. And that's one thing I don't like about this. So maybe all I have to do is, yeah, Revolt Tech joints are really difficult to pop off. So all you have to do is pop it back in. So this is what it looks like. Okay, she's battle damage. She, let me put her in the typical Moe pose. There we go. Typical Moe pose, all injured, battle damage, freaking, oh, woe is me. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's not bad. It, it, it is what it is. I like saying that. There's the battle damage leg. If I can never pop it out. Oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> you know, my clothes are falling off. I'm <laughs> battle damage. All right, let's give you a size comparison. I like it. The Revolt Tech joints are tough. You definitely need the stand. I don't know if I showed you the stand. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the stand. So if you need, there it is, Queen's Blade, I 80 use the stand. There she is with uh, Fate Stay. So she's short. She's shorty. Let me see if I can put that. Okay, so there we go. She's short. Not as cool as Fate Stay, but nonetheless, I mean, I'm not going to detract from that. Looking good. Yeah, I like it a little better than the Fate Stay version because it actually has a lot of detail to it, if you can tell, you know. So, give her a 7.5 out of 10. Look at the detail. It is Moe Lalakan. Great detailing on that. Alright, YouTubers, that's all I got. And I'll catch you all next time.